Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Can-Am. The ride says it all. Polaris. The hardest working, smoothest riding off-road vehicles. Hatfield McCoy Trails. Where hundreds of miles of off-road adventure await you today. And by Yamaha. Conquer Outdoors. Say what you want about Polaris. Love them or hate them, this company is on a mission of epic proportions to not just lead the ATV industry, but to totally and completely dominate it in every way. We started out this season with an ultimately hair-raising ride aboard the all-new Razor XP 1000 in Arizona. The 1000 blew our expectations completely out of the water, and after Polaris over-delivered on that product, we were left more than excited about what we were going to see at the full-line intro only a month or so later. When we stepped into the truck at Rock Run Recreation in Pennsylvania, the guys at Polaris wasted no time introducing three new models, once again proving that there is no stopping this crew from Roseau, Minnesota. So let's see what's coming. So for 2014 model year, we've got huge news uh, for the Sportsman product line. We upgraded our Sportsman 500 HL to our ProStar 570 engine. In addition to the upgrade to the ProStar 570 engine, uh, we made uh, probably three other notable improvements that I would mention. The first one is, is that thanks to the new engine, we were able to increase electrical output. So now we are able to offer electric power steering on that model. The second thing that we did is we narrowed the midsection of the ATV to make the ergonomics more similar to the Sportsman XP. That carries all the way down to the floorboards, which are also larger than the, than the 500HO model that it replaces. And the third thing that I would say is the, is the new rear rack. We upgraded the rack to a, a design that has exposed steel tubes. So this uh, is also uh, coupled with notched out sections in the poly cover. Uh, so the combination of those two things make this the strongest and most functional rack that we've put on the Classic Sportsman. The ProStar 570 engine really brings a tremendous amount of value to our best value ATV. The notable improvements with the engine are the carburetor is replaced with electronic fuel injection. It's a dual overhead cam design with a four valve head, which means that the engine is able to produce a lot more power. It produces over 20% more power than the, than, the, uh, than the 500 HL. The MSRP of the engine is uh, $300 higher uh, than what it was with 500 HL, uh, but we really feel that consumer is getting a lot of benefit out of that money. We still have our Sportsman 400 HL, and that ATV carries forward for 2014 in two colors. Uh, it's in blue and in sage green. And then the big news, of course, is the Sportsman 570. The Sportsman 570 is offered in three colors without power steering, a sage green, indie red, and in camel. The power steering model is available in sage green, bright white, and also in camo. Uh, we also have a touring version of the Sportsman 570, and that is available in sage green and also in bright white. And then rounding out the value line is the Sportsman 800, and that's available in blue and sage green. After spending a few hours riding the Sportsman 570, I can't even begin to express how much I liked it. For only $300, you're getting so much more ATV than the old Sportsman 500 Classic. It's got more power, better ergonomics, and is easier to use thanks to the inclusion of EFI and optional power steering. This thing is definitely a winner, but Polaris ain't done with this motor just yet. This year we're, we're announcing a new Ranger 570. We're utilizing an engine that's been proven and reliable in the industry. We first launched it in the Razor 570. It's now in the Ranger lineup, cranks out 40 horsepower. It's a great peppy option for both work-oriented folks as well as the trail-oriented folks. The new Ranger 570 is a great fit for the mid-size chassis. We pulled a play that uh, we borrowed from our full-size models in which we moved the engine and transmission behind the seated area. It delivers great power for this mid-size segment and it's gonna be a winner in the marketplace. For the Ranger 570, we have a full line of Pure Polaris accessories. That's bumpers, brush guards, winches, and a full line of, of cab accessories. Also new for the Ranger 570 this, this year is the available electronic power steering. And you'll find that on any of the premium paint limited edition models. 
Then we have a premium model that has aluminum rims, premium paint, and comes with electronic power steering for easy steering all day long. The Ranger 570 with EPS is one of the most surprising new 570 powered models since the original Razor 570. Its balance of size, weight, and power make it both functional and fun. We love ours, and it's quickly becoming the go-to ride when stuff needs to get done around the office. This year we launched the new Crew 900. It's based upon last year's successful launch of the Ranger XP 900. The new Crew 900 is 32 inches longer than the Ranger XP 900. And it has a seating configuration of five people. We interviewed with uh, customers and we found that the recipe of 60 horsepower, seating for five, and additional covered storage was the right answer for the new model. The Ranger Crew 900 is for the multi-acre homeowner, the rancher, farmer, anybody that wants to carry more than uh, two or three occupants. To say the 900 Crew is capable would be like saying the 1000 Razor is fast. It's a bit of an understatement. It may be two city blocks long, but we did take ours out on some extremely gnarly and tight trails, and it handled all of them without any issues. It's fast, it's fun, and it's supremely useful. As I said at the start of this story, Polaris appears to be pushing their ATV and side-by-side -side lineups forward like a bulldozer, introducing new models and new variations of best-selling models almost every six months. And while the Razor 1000, Sportsman 570, Ranger 570, and Ranger 900 crew might seem like more than enough new stuff for one season, don't stop holding your breath just yet. We've already been invited to get another intro in a few months. Polaris told us it's something new and it's something we're gonna love. So you better stay tuned. Over this season, we've taken you on a behind the scenes exclusive look at how an aftermarket exhaust manufacturer designs, prototypes, benchmarks, and produces an aftermarket side-by-side -side exhaust. And today, we have two freshly shipped MBRP exhausts ready to be put to the test. The first is a true dual exhaust design. Running straight from the cylinder head, this setup is the real deal and features individual header pipes running to separate upper wheel well mounted silencers. This kit features 304 stainless steel custom bent MBRP head pipes that will outlast any factory pipes and have the potential of producing big power when heavy engine modifications are installed. The truth about the True Dual design is that it really doesn't make a whole lot of noticeable horsepower, but on the flip side, it doesn't hurt it any either and produces a sound that's almost too good to be true. Some say noise equals horsepower. For me, I'd have to disagree, but I do believe that quality, crisp, precision tuned exhaust notes do deliver big on the mental horsepower front. And when your system looks like this MBRP True XP900 Dual does, you're also raising the bar when it comes to style points. And looking and sounding different can be just as important as increasing horsepower. The experience from the driver's seat totally changes everything. Much like the first time that I put an exhaust on a V8 pickup truck, I find myself flicking the throttle at every chance I can get just to hear the sweet tones coming from this motor. While the performance hasn't noticeably changed, during the install I did feel a huge difference in the weight. Even with a full separate head pipe to each silencer, this system dropped six pounds over stock. That's a lot of weight to shed strictly from the exhaust. And keep in mind, the pipes and muffler shell are full 304 stainless. While the production of one system alone must have been exhausting, MBRP wanted to bring two systems to the market and captivate those buyers who are looking for the biggest horsepower bang for their buck. The Powertech 4 slip-on exhaust housing is made from 304 stainless steel and replaces the factory black exhaust canister. It brings noticeable visual improvement to the rear of the XP900 while utilizing the stock Polaris head pipe. Install is easy and the finished product, very custom looking. When it comes to aftermarket exhaust, very few break even on horsepower. Even less make more and the majority of them fall into the classification of reducing the horsepower of your ride. Whether you like hearing me say that or not, it's the truth about most aftermarket exhausts that they make sound, not horsepower. Being one of the first slip-on exhausts that truly makes a noticeable improvement, the double stack is a whopping five horsepower up from the stock setup. On an 88 horsepower 900cc vehicle, 
That's enough to feel it out on the trail. And feel it, I did. On a vehicle of this size, extra acceleration is always a welcome advantage, and the five horsepower produced is really felt when you're out on the test track exiting a sandy berm. Add to that the tone and crackle produced by this exhaust, and you have all the reason to make a call to MBRP for your very own Powertech 4. While this system did not realize the same Jenny Craig-worthy reduction in weight, it did manage to come in at the same weight as the stock. But the true victory here is not just the extra power, but the way it was achieved, utilizing the quality head pipe of the stock system and the new MBRP canister. This system will be very affordable, simple to install, and likely the cheapest aftermarket horsepower upgrade for an XP900. We truly hope that you've enjoyed seeing an MBRP exhaust system evolve. We know that there's a lot of aftermarket noisemakers out there, but the truth is, noise does not always equal horsepower. However, quality design, dyno testing, and the latest technology certainly does. And that's precisely why we chose an MBRP exhaust for our Razor XP 900. It's really no surprise that Arctic Cat's wildly popular Wildcat lineup was going to expand. And for 2014, that's exactly what it did. And let me tell you, these new kitties have some serious claws. Mark Esla from Arctic tells us a little bit more. What's great and new about the Wildcat 4 versus the uh, two-seat version of the Wildcat is we thought about the passengers. The wheelbase is lengthened by 29 inches to accommodate that second row of seating. We elevated the seating by about four inches so you can be in the back seat and see over the people in front of you uh, so you can enjoy the scenery and the ride that you're on. We also put the cup holders, 12 volt accessory in the back seat so the people in the back seat uh, have the same accommodations that they do up front. We added the doors that were really popular with the original Wildcat. There's the same tube frame doors that you see and the Wildcat is in the back seat as well. Amenities are a huge selling feature in this market and Arctic Cat adding extra amenities to the second row that the competitors don't have helps them to differentiate themselves from everybody else. And let me tell you, the second row of doors on the Wildcat 4 are super cool. When we did the Wildcat 4, obviously, you don't create a product like this right out of the gate. This was done in conjunction with our two-seater. And uh, we lengthened the wheelbase, obviously, and we lengthened it by 29 inches. And what the advantages of that is, is obviously that added another row of seating, but you also get a whole different ride and feel of the vehicle. Even though, you know, you want to keep it down to a minimum, we didn't want to make a great long train type vehicle. And so that was something we optimized. But yet, when you go out and ride the four seat vehicle, you get a lot different ride to handling characteristics. The longer wheelbase makes it a lot smoother over the whoops, for instance. And as you're going over them, it'll be a smoother ride for both the back row passengers and the front row. And then it handles all the same things that the Wildcat does. The Wildcat 4 is going to be a huge success for Arctic Cat's Wildcat line and it answers the call of sports side-by-side -side riders looking to travel with more people. But for this season, it's not just the length and wheelbase that differentiates the four from last year's models. There's a few included features in all Wildcats for this season that make them different. We added the new Team Industries flyweight clutch to all our Wildcat line this year. And what that means is it's a different clutch system than what we had before. Uh, Snowmobile Industries is very familiar with it, but it's a flyweight type clutch. And why we did that is it's a more responsive uh, clutch system than what we had before. It works more efficiently to get the power to ground and get that throttle response that the Wildcat customer is looking for. Improving on throttle response, acceleration, and overall motor feel was something that Arctic Cat needed to address on last year's Wildcat, and the new Team Industries clutch kit does just that. While the 4 was huge news, Arctic had one more thing up their sleeve with the Wildcat X. Well, the X took all the great things you find on the standard Wildcat, and we added some stuff. Obviously, when you look at the Wildcat X, it has painted aluminum bumpers, has the Maxxis Bighorn 2.0 tires, the color match seats, the graphics package, all the great stuff that make the Wildcat X, but most importantly is the new engine. The new engine for the Wildcat X is a powered up from what you're going to find on the standard Wildcat and the Wildcat 4 that we just came out with. And it wasn't just one magic bullet that made that powered up engine. There were several things that amount to about a 15% horsepower gain in that engine. More power, more performance, and more people. Arctic Cat's Wildcat lineup has been expanded, broadening their range in the sports side-by-side -side category and proving just how dedicated they are to this industry.
It's been a few weeks since we've seen the 50 inch wide project Razor, but we're not done with it yet. Today we have a smorgasbord of goodies we're going to install that'll give it more style, more safety, and more functionality. But before we get into that, let me remind you about what we've already done and what our plans for this project were originally. 50 inches wide is our goal, while keeping the end user and the final bill attainable for those looking to tweak their ride. Starting out with STI rims and tires, we gave our Razor extra style, better grip, and stayed at 50 inches, something only STI can do for you. Stage 2 was a beautiful set of fully rebuildable Fox aluminum body shocks and Eibach springs, totally changing the way our buggy takes the bumps. And finally, our last segment showed you the inner working of the clutches on our 570, pulling all we could from this ProStar mill with the help of our friends at Dalton Professional Clutch Components, and delivered what I consider to be the best performance improvement from a clutch kit I have ever felt. While I truly do feel that we've made incredible headway on this build, there are a few accessories that I absolutely love to have on a side-by-side, -side, and I feel this build could truly benefit from. With a quick call to the crew at Super ATV and a brief explanation of the build, they jumped on board full force and delivered us a cache of goodies that made me feel like it was an early Christmas. Super ATV is located in the USA and designs, produces, and ships just about anything you could ever want for your ATV or side-by-side. -side. One of my personal favorite side-by-side -side accessories would have to be the full roof, and Super ATV has found a way to make the roof even more functional with extra accessories. The one-piece molded plastic roof is a very nice piece on its own, but the addition of the speaker pod sets it apart. While I'm not installing a stereo today, there's no reason not to add this in. Another very functional roof addition is the large nylon storage bag. It attaches to the roll bar with simple Velcro straps and works much like a sun visor in a car, allowing you to store your gear up high away from any potential water or excess heat. Speaking of water and heat, keeping your sight lines clear and the cab free of any dust or debris is the job for a full windshield. This one-piece Lexan shield is custom fit to the Razor, no generic design here. Utilizing very clean tube clamps, two per side, and a nice rubber gasket seal up against the hood makes for the perfect fit and a clean, stylized look. Easy to install and incredibly functional. While well, on the topic of function, we all know that rides can go wrong, trails can get gnarlier than you expected, and stuff can get busted. So investing in preventative armor like this can save you a bundle in the long run. The Super ATV rock sliders are the perfect match for both form and function, making your Razor look great, but adding in the protection of a low-slung rock contactor. They bolt on very easily and will help when I truly put the STI Roctane tires to use and crawl some gnarly terrain. While rock sliders keep your rig safe from abuse, it's always important to keep yourself safe from abuse. So included in the list of goodies from Super ATV were a few that were focused on just that. I personally love adding five points to any side-by-side -side I ride. They not only keep you more securely seated and allow for better control of the vehicle, they ensure that in a worst-case scenario, you stay firmly planted within the vehicle, minimizing potential injury. Also in the safety department is a rear view mirror, an accessory I believe every side-by-side -side should come with from the factory. And last but definitely not least, we need to add some just plain old cool gear to this ride to make us look different from all of the rest. With Super ATV, you can trick your ride cheaper than you expect. And on this build, we wanted to not just add function, but add style as well. So we're installing the cool racing style steering wheel and hub, the matching shift knob, chrome gauge bezel and gas cap, and the ultra cool chrome passenger adjustable grab bar, as well as the lock and ride tie down straps, totally setting our ride apart from all the rest and making the cab feel incredibly custom. With our Project Razor nearing the end of its build, we truly have added a lot of function with style. I like to look different than everyone else out on the trail, and Super ATV has given me that customized look with our Razor 570, but for a fraction of what you're going to pay elsewhere. Dirt Tracks Television has been sponsored by Polaris. 
the hardest working, smoothest riding off-road vehicles. Can-Am, the ride says it all. MBRP Performance Exhaust, making power with MBRP. And by Arctic Cat, share our passion.